Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. In today's HTML5 tutorial, I'm going to talk about why the font tag has disappeared from HTML5. So if you were familiar with the earlier versions of HTML, you would probably remember one of the most frequently used tags was font. So for example, if you type some text, hello, my name is Edward, or you type some text and <clears throat> you show this on your web page, it doesn't have any formatting, but if you put in front of it, you use the font tag, so bracket font color equals red, size equals plus two, right, and you put a slash font in the end, okay, and you save this, refresh the page you have red text and it's bigger than normal okay to show that it's bigger I'm gonna cut and paste this in front of the word Edward so you can see here that it's bigger than normal and it's red now this font tag is actually no longer supported in HTML5 and the reason is because in HTML5, we like to use CSS, cascading style sheets, to control the uh, everything about how a page looks. So the color, the size, all that stuff, that's controlled with cascading style sheets. Right? If you want to specify how something looks, use CSS. HTML is should be purely used for uh, describing the content, whether it's paragraph or whether it's a list or something like that. So if you have, if you are going to use HTML5, you would have a paragraph tag saying that this is a paragraph. So hello, my name is John. Right, so this is a paragraph tag. So if you refresh the page, this is a paragraph. And then within the paragraph, if you like to change the um, how this paragraph looks, you would put style equals, and then you would put quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks is where you specify using cascading style sheets how you want this paragraph to look. So you can put in here color, we want it to be red, and the font size is however many, uh, however large you want the text to be. So then you refresh the page and you can see here that the whole paragraph is now uh, in red. Now, if you don't want the whole paragraph to be red, then what you can do is in front of whatever text you want to be something else, you use the span tag. Now, the span tag is sort of specifying a section, a, a small section of a, a line that you're going to format differently. So it is pretty similar to the font tag, but you're blocking out a section and you're um, specifying how that section looks. So I'm going to cut and paste the style section into the span tag and you're going to finish off the span tag after John okay and then if you refresh it you see that only the word John has changed now because we're using CSS there are a lot more different options you can have for changing how this um, word looks so I'll also provide you with a list in the link below in the description of all the things you can change in the sp span tag in the style property okay thanks for watching guys see you next time